Hello, Commanders, and welcome back to Elite Dangerous Return from Beagle Point. We are continuing on, at the, we're still at the very beginning of our very long journey, all the way back to the bubble. Uh, in the previous playlist, we started from the bubble and made our way through Sagittarius A-Star, the great, the uh, supermassive black hole at the center of the galaxy, and went all the way out to Beagle Point out here. Now we are on our return trip. And uh, before we hop into our discussion of the day, which is going to be consequences, <laughs> I'd like to go ahead and encourage you to press that like button and also subscribe to the channel if you uh, find this content interesting and informative. I do try to make all of these videos uh, kind of the same format. Uh, so, you know, let me know what you think. Uh, we also want to welcome all of our new viewers who may be just joining the journey right now. Uh, the purpose of all of this has been so far to increase our exobiology rank up to the elite status, as well as make enough money to buy a fleet carrier to take out into the black for our future exploration uh, objectives. Uh, there is a standard format that we tend to follow for these videos. I try to have a topic of discussion, but uh, so that uh, the kind of repetitive, boring gameplay aspect of all of this isn't so mind-numbing. <laughs> so uh, we're going to try to get off this planet, swing around to where we can make our jump to the next area. The body that we're currently circling is in the way, so it is going to take us just a few seconds to uh, get high enough in altitude to swing around the planet and then begin our jump into the next area. Let's see if we can start doing a little bit of slingshotting to get ourselves around a little bit faster. It can take a little bit, especially when the jump that we're trying to get to is on the other side of the planet. So once we get around over here, we'll begin charging up our frame shift drive, and then we'll go over the sequence of events that we typically do as we are moving through each of the systems, and then we'll talk about our topic of discussion for today. <clears throat> So, yeah, uh, I try to keep myself talking as much as I can during these videos because I know that for the most part, uh, the people who are watching these videos are, mo I, you know, I think, I don't think we, I think we actually left that planet too soon. We were probably supposed to stay there and try to find some, <laughs> some more biology, but that's okay. Uh, we have plenty of, uh, plenty of time to get to find interesting things to scan. Uh, so when we hop into a system, we'll pop the discovery scanner, which allows us to see how many bodies there are in the system. And then we'll do some fuel scooping to make sure that we are topped off on our tanks. And then after that, if, uh, well, either way, we're going to pop into our full spectrum system scanner to see if there are any high value planets. So we'll go ahead and do that in a second uh, once we're out of the star. We're looking for, if you look at the bottom right, we're looking for Earth-like worlds, ammonia worlds, and water worlds. There are none in this system. However, if there are 15-ish or less bodies, it's a, it's, a, it's a fudgeable number, depending on how I feel at the time, uh, we'll go ahead and do a full-on manual scan of the entire system to see if we can find any biological features. So if you look in the top right where it says features, we're looking for biological, and we want to find at least two on a body uh, before we're going to commit to trying to go after any of that because it takes time to fly over to the body to do a scan to descend to the planet I mean you saw how long it took us to get off of the planet that we were just on so you see geological up there we want to look we want to see biological that's what we're looking for um, so to make sure that we don't go all the way over to a planet and only find like a little bit of bacteria I, I typically try to make sure we have at least at least uh, two biological uh, two biological features listed on a body before we're going to commit to going over there especially if it's relatively far away so we'll finish scanning this one more body to go uh, see if we can find it ah there it is all right so we didn't find any biological features in this system, which is fine. It's not that big of a deal. Go ahead and move on, and we'll get on to our topic of discussion for today, which is living with consequences. So, unfortunately in life, uh, <laughs> we make decisions. Um, if you make good decisions, you get good consequences. If you make bad decisions, you, make, you get bad consequences. And then other times there are consequences that are imposed upon you by the decisions of other people that you have no control over and you end up having to pay for. Uh, I don't go too far into my person, the details on my personal life because uh, not, I don't think it's really appropriate to get too personal in a public space like this. But I do try to reflect on personal things that happen to me to come up with these kind of philosophical discussions that I try to have as, oh, it's, we have an ammonia world, if you see there. So we'll try to find that. 
Um, I do try to use the events from my life to kind of come up with these philosophical topics that I like to discuss as we're, you know, flying around the galaxy. And, I, you know, I think that's kind of weirdly appropriate to be discussing philosophical things as we simulate, uh, simulate spanning uh, something that is so vast that the human mind can't really understand it. I think that's kind of profound. But anyways, um, consequences. Unfortunately, you can't know what the consequences of the decisions that you make are going to be before you make them in the vast majority of cases. And as unfortunate is the fact that a lot of times the consequences of the decisions that you make are going to have very negative, unforeseen situations that come up. And the last couple of days for me have just had monsters from the past kind of coming up and making my life. Oop. Oh, I forgot we had a ammonia rover we're supposed to go scan. Uh, oh, uh, but they're all really far away. I, I generally set a limit of about uh, 10,000 light seconds. But, uh, if we're going to go try to scan something, 15 is pretty far. And I know some of you are like, well, put a cut in. And I'm like, well, yeah, but you guys don't have to sit through that. I do. So I'm not doing that. <laughs> we're going to do we're gonna do this all live because the journey, it's more about the journey and less about, uh, you know, scanning things. Um, anyways, what was I saying? Oh, uh, I just monsters from the past pop up from time to time. Uh, you involve yourself in situations that at the time you think are going to be fine, and then over over the course of years or whatever, they change, and then you know they they go in a direction you didn't think that they were going to go. And unfortunately, some of these situations uh, put you in a place where you have to deal with the consequences of the choices that you've made for many, many years. And, um, you know, if you're in that kind of a situation, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, now that said, I don't necessarily regret, I don't necessarily regret the, some. Well, I definitely don't regret some of the results of the situation, but the fact that I have this recurring thing that keeps coming up because of it is super frustrating and especially because the way that that situation ended up turning out turned out in a way that completely mm, how, how do I put this I, I, I don't want to I'm trying to be circumspect about how I describe this situation I'm sure I'm sure that some of you are, are intelligent enough to kind of suss out what I'm what I'm going what I'm going about, but I, I don't want to explicitly state it because it's just not not appropriate. Um, let's just put it this way: the the situation that I'm in now is one where I, I'm I'm having to I'm having to pay for a situation and I'm not getting anything in return. So we'll put it that way. You can apply your own specific situation to that however you want. I'm not going to I'm not going to verify or validate or whatever it is that you think. Let's just put it. Let's just say that I, I I'm in a situation where I, I have little to no choice in which I have to continue to be subjected to the consequences of a situation that I placed myself in, and uh, you know I, I I don't personally get anything out of the frustration that I'm having to deal with. <laughs> put it that way. Um, so the reason I bring all of this up is not because I, I'm trying to tell you guys about my situation. It's because when you, when you, it's easy to get yourself, oh, another water, I've got a water world. Uh, we'll see how far away that is once we find it. Uh, it's easy to become very bitter about things. And I was very bitter. I was very bitter when this thing popped back into my life again. I mean, it's, and it's a regular thing. You can, it's, it's not something that I expect to go away for, uh, for several more years. <laughs> um, so, you know, I, I wasn't necessarily surprised that it popped up, but at the same time, it's like I'm finally starting to get to a place where my channel is, you know, at least a little bit. I, it's nothing. In, oh, I think that's our water world. How far away is oh, that's pretty close. Let's go ahead and go scan that. I'm finally in a place where my channel is doing a little uh, doing a little bit for me. It's, it's certainly nothing impressive. It's not even really enough to pay a single bill that I have, but it's it's better than the last year that I've spent, you know, doing all of this and not getting any kind of monetary compensation out of it for, at all. And then this, you know, situate a situation pops up where you know I finally have a little bit of money. I'm thinking, hey, maybe I could invest this back into my channel, buy a head tracking device or something, and start doing my DCS content again. And then as soon as I decide that that might be a thing, this situation pops back into my life, and it's one of those situations where I'm obligated to part with 
money. <laughs> and it's easy. It, I, I, I immediately fell into the pacing around my trailer, cursing and being really angry because it's just like every time I finally start to move in a direction that, you know, I want to go, things from my life pop in and just drag me back down. <clears throat> so I spent a fair amount of time, you know, in that headspace because that's the natural reaction you have when you have a, a, an, a vision for your future and then something comes along and sweeps your legs out from under you. And I feel like most of my life has been kind of like that. I'm, I'm trying to get somewhere and I'm constantly held back by, you know, people and circumstances. And that's... I, to be perfectly honest with you, I think that, you know, for, for a certain portion of that is valid. Um, you know, I think a lot of everybody's life is having people who come into it, people you allow into your life who end up, you know, really preventing you from getting where you want to go. For, for, what, for, for whatever reason and in whatever method that you want to say, it's just... There's always going to be people in your life or circumstances that pop up that just pull, like, put their hands on your shoulders from behind and just start dragging you backwards. <clears throat> and, you know, the natural response to that is to get super angry and to get super frustrated and to start, you know, wallowing in self pity because you just, you're like, can I, can I please finally just get, start moving in the direction I want to go, please? Can you please just leave me alone and let me do my thing? Um, you know, I have to force myself out of that mentality when that, when that ends up happening and that's that's kind of the point of that's kind of the point of this video is not necessarily so I can complain about my situation cuz a nobody cares about my situation other than me and then b uh, complaining about your situation doesn't do anything it all it does is just irritate people and enforce reinforces this uh, mentality that you have that you're stuck in your situation so you know, I'm here today, uh, you know, after a day or so after this situation popped back up. And I don't want to say that I have like a positive mindset at the moment. It's just you get to a certain point and you, you resign yourself to the fact that there's certain things that you just can't. There's certain things that you can't change. There's certain things that you can't escape. And there are certain things that you are going to pay for until the situation is fully paid and done and that's it and that's all you're gonna that, that, that's the only thing that you're gonna you just have to live with it <laughs> too many of us uh have gotten to a place where you know uh we don't want to deal with the drama of people and situations and whatever else it is in your life that is causing you stress and frustration uh, biological, but like I said, we're looking for at least two signatures to justify the amount of time it's going to take us to go over and scan and land. I mean, even just the landing takes quite a little bit of time, so it doesn't matter if it's even kind of close by. Just the amount of time it's going to take us to land and then go find one. It's like, no, let's 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 hold out for at least two, at least until we get to the end of the episode where we kind of want to land anyway. If we find one there, that's that's kind of worth the time. All right, so moving on to the next set of stuff. Uh, what was I saying? Something I was talking about, uh, you know. Learning, learning to live with the consequences that you have. Um, the reality of the situation is, is that we live in a world where the things that we do are going to affect us in one way or another. And especially with the societies that we've built over the last however many centuries, nobody's going to let you out of your obligations. Uh, if you put yourself in a situation where either one person believes that you owe them something or society as a whole believes that the choices that you've made obligate you to something, then you're, you're not getting out of it. You're, you're going to have to live with it. You're going to have to deal with it because it's just a situation that you're in. So, you know, you're going to have moments where you're walking around, you're walking around and pacing and cursing and why is my life so fucking hard? I'm sorry, I, didn't, I, try, I try really hard not to curse because I know there may be kids and younger people who end up watching. Why does my life have to be so hard? Why do I have to have all of these things that continue to come in and prevent me from going, going, getting where I want to go? And unfortunately, we tend to forget that, you know, we made the choice to put ourselves in that situation most of the time. I understand that there are situations that a lot of us get into where... You know, we have no choice. We had no choice, and this this situation was foisted upon us. But most of the time, at least you know, for for the average person, 
you chose to put yourself in that situation. You chose to take a risk in engaging in whatever thing it is that you engaged in, and you, you, you lost. It was a gamble, and you lost, and that's just kind of the way that it goes. And no matter how much you might want to try to uh, hedge your bets and all of that stuff, you know, we're all going to lose, and we're all, most of the time, I think, I think that we're all going to lose a lot more than we win, because that's just kind of the way the world works. You just, it's, there's another single biology planet. It seems like the world is set up in such a way that um, when you win, you usually win pretty big, and when you lose, it's usually a bunch of small losses, and they all kind of equal out. At least that's been my experience. Uh, I know that, statistically speaking, there's going to be people all along that spectrum. Some people are going to have big loss after big loss after big loss, and their wins are going to be very small. And at the other end, you're going to have people who have massive wins that continue to far outpace their losses. Um, society bears that out if you just look at the class structure that every country in the world has. Um, but the average person, at least, I think, I think that's kind of how it ends up being. You have a bunch of losses, a bunch of little losses, and then every once in a while, you get a lucky break. That's the big win that I'm talking about. And unfortunately, for the average person, that's the problem is, is that <laughs> you get a big you get a big win and you feel good for a little bit, but then all of the little losses start, you know, popping up and you start you, you don't you don't ever get anywhere because you you don't have the luck of having something that's such a big win that it outweighs all of the little losses that you've been experiencing. And that's just kind of how all of our lives are, I think. I think most of us can probably identify with that kind of a feeling. It's just that, you know, I'm stuck where I am. How how do I get out of this? That's why we all. That's why a lot of people play the lottery. I, I'm, I mean, I've my my wife. I've had my wife play the lottery. I I personally I am personally of the belief that I'm never allowed to win anything. Like I I nothing. I, I've never won anything in my life that wasn't like a competition of some kind. Like something where I had to do something to win it. You know what I mean? I've I've never gotten the lucky. Hey, I've never even like I've never even won a raffle of any kind. Even the you know like there's 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 i've been there's been plenty of situations where a group of people got a, a group of us got together and we were part of something that ended up having something where one of us was going to win i've never won anything because i just i have i believe i don't i believe i have bad luck <laughs> or at least no luck you know what i mean i like I, I don't know that there's anything i don't know that the universe is out to get me or anything but i i just i don't have that feeling that I have a feeling that I'm just not allowed to win anything. I'm not allowed to be given anything. I have, uh, like, I have to be, I have to earn every little bit of something that I get. And I think that's most of us, if I'm perfectly honest. Like, I'm not trying to whine to you about that. I'm saying, like, I think most of us are in that situation where we are never going to be given anything. We have to fight and scrape and scratch for every little thing that we get. And it's just super. Fr I think it's it's definitely super frustrating because we see all of these, especially now with the modern social media and all this stuff, where we get to where we have to watch all these people with money and all that stuff. And you know, how the, how the hell did they get all that money? What did they do to make all that money? Like, why why are they so special that they get to have all of that, and I'm stuck here working a stupid job, or I don't have any money, or I'm trying to build this thing from scratch, and and I have no confidence that it's going to get anywhere. You know, it's like you see all these people and it feels like they were just kind of given stuff now the rational part of you understands that for the most part for the most part people with money took a risk they invested they t they invested either their time or maybe some money that they had and they got lucky and it worked out for them um in the mo for the, for the most part people who are in situations where they're able to live the kind of lives that we all want to live, they, they truly earned that. I'm not going to take that away from them. Um, so, you know, I, I don't want to, I don't want to come across as somebody who's like super jealous. I just wish that I could get to a place where my, I, just, I would just be happy if I could get to a place where the consequences are paid for and I can start moving forward in my life. You know what I mean? And I think that a lot of us are in that situation where you're like, yeah, I, it's not even necessarily, I, I don't want to use the word mistakes, like you're paying for your mistakes, because at the time, it, it wasn't really a mistake. At the time, it didn't look like something that was going to turn into a thing that would just constantly haunt you for years and years. At the time, you thought it was going to be a bright future, and 
it just didn't work out. It just didn't turn out the way that you thought it was gonna turn out. And you're constantly being held back by that. You couldn't know that at the time. I mean, obviously, if you had... I mean, I guess... I'm sure there are signs when you're in a situation that you could probably have noticed. But realistically, in the moment when you can't see the future and, you know, maybe you're in a situation where you can't see the true nature of what's going on, you can't know in that moment, or especially if you're young and immature and you don't know what's going, you don't know the world, you don't know enough about the world yet to make intelligent decisions about, you know, what you choose to involve yourself in. You're going to get into these situations, and you know it's kind of unfortunate that uh, we as a society, geological too, we it's kind of unfortunate that we as a society. Um, don't really provide much in the way of a relief for that, especially when it comes to certain situations uh, where, you know, we give more power to one... We give more power to one side of something than we do to the other. Again, I don't want to get too specific because I don't want to... I, I don't, I'm not interested in sparking political debates or anything like that, but <clears throat> there are a lot of situations where the we we're, we're we're made to pay for things probably far more far more unreasonably than we really should have to and what i mean by that is is that you know we as a society have decided to give a lot of decision making power to certain parts of our like i'm trying i'm trying to figure out a way to say this that isn't uh <laughs> that isn't super obvious. Uh, we've we've given a we've given a lot of power, decision making power, and a lot of preference to certain parts of our society, and t completely taken away the ability for the other part of that equation to have decision making processes when it comes to certain situations. So, again, if you're in that situation, you probably know what I'm talking about. But if you're not, then you don't and i'm not gonna i'm not gonna spell it out because i don't want to turn it into that kind of discussion i'm just saying i think we can all each of us can agree that we're probably most of us are in i don't want to say all i think most of us could probably ag uh, agree and understand the idea of being in a situation where you feel like you have no control and you're just stuck in whatever it is that you're stuck in and there's nothing you can do about it not because you are incapable of you know, making your life work, but just because the way that things have been set up by society in general, you are stuck dealing with the decisions that have been made by others. Because let me put it, let me put it this way. The situation that I'm in, um, how do I put this in, uh, <laughs> how do I put this in, uh, oh, biological three. And we're late enough in the episode that we're definitely going to go do that. So let's go ahead and head over to there. Um, the situation that I'm in is one of those ones where the circumstances of the situation are completely in the, the are completely in the control of the other party, and I have no recourse pretty much at all. So decisions were made. I was not consulted in those decisions, and things happened that I strongly disagreed with. But because of the way that things work, I was not given. I, I, I had very little or no chance of preventing those things from happening because the way things are set up, the other party has all of the preferential treatment. So let me put it that way. <laughs> Again, if, you, if you're in this situation yourself, you know what I'm talking about. And if you're exposed to this situation, you probably know what I'm talking about. Everyone else is like, what are you talking about? That's okay. Like I said, I don't want, I, I, I don't want to, I, I don't want to get too specific about my personal life anyway. Uh, so, what I'm trying to get to is is that sometimes you have you find yourself in a situation where, and, and it's that it's that's probably the most frustrating of situations where you you are continually exposed to the consequences of choices that you made that should not have turned out the way that they did, but they did, and now you are completely out of control of the situation because life in general has just been set up in a way that is not is not fair to you. Put it that way. 
<laughs> I don't know how I, I don't know how else to do it without like going explicitly into my situation. And and the thing and I don't want partially it's a privacy thing. I don't want to go too far into my situation because you know it's it's not really something that needs to be discussed intimately online but also just because i don't want to make this discussion about my situation it's more i want to make the discussion about oh you know what i forgot that i wanted to we need to whoops all right we need to check our filters here fungoida and osseous okay so we'll, we'll leave fungoida down here and we'll try to head i guess to that 12 o'clock position there so you know it's just I'm, I'm trying to straddle a line between, you know, being personal with you guys enough that you can understand where this topic is coming from and, you know, also not divulging too much information and also not just whining about my situation. It's more to illustrate the point that I'm trying to make in that, you know, sometimes we find ourselves in situations that, yes, we put ourselves there, but at the same time, the the price that we have to pay as a result of being in that situation is pretty unfair and we have to expend a lot more of our time and resources dealing with that situation than we should really have to based off of the choices that were made by somebody else so or we lose a lot more out of that situation because somebody else made a choice that affected that has a direct effect on us and we have no choice but to accept the decisions that are made and we lose a lot and are still expected to continue paying to help that decision be made <laughs> so you know it's just like I don't I don't I know I know some people are going to hear this and, 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 and all they hear is a big wine fest and I, I you know it is what it is I was whining about it a couple of days ago when I was pacing around my trailer and being really angry and pissed off. But right now, I'm mostly just, you know, I'm, I'm past that part and I'm into the, 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 the calm acceptance of, you know, this is what it is. There's, there's nothing I can do about it. Um, not, not putting up with the situation would be far worse than just sucking it up and dealing with it and it is what it is. And that's kind of where I am right now. I really wish I had uh, gotten a little bit closer to our area over here because uh, we're pretty far away. I think we're going to go straight down here and see what we can find because I would like to be able to log off here in a second. I just have to try to... I think I think we might go ahead and just call this an episode because it's, it's going to take us longer to find this stuff and then ideally I'll remember to start the next episode off by actually searching for stuff. Because, yeah, I don't, I don't think we landed in an area where there's going to be a lot of stuff. So let's go ahead and just call it here. Uh, my point is made for the most part and, uh, you know, you guys have better things to do than to listen to me repeat myself over and over again. So anyways, hopefully you guys had lots of fun. Be sure to click that like button if you did so that the YouTube algorithm will know and send the video out to as many people as possible. If you're not subscribed, please consider doing so now so that when the next video comes out, it will show up in your feed and you will be able to watch it as soon as it becomes available. Channel members do get early access to all of my content, so be sure to click that join button, check out the list of options available there, and decide if any of those are right for you. If you're not uh, interested in a membership, you can always click that thanks button. It's YouTube's form of a tip. Direct contributions are greatly appreciated and a critical component to helping to turn this into a full-time gig, which is the dream. Uh, so again, thank you very much for your time. Hope, hopefully my topic of discussion ended up making some kind of sense. I know I rambled on. It, it's it's kind of hard to get from point A to point B in convoluted con uh, topics when you're trying to hold back some information. But anyways, hopefully it made some sense to you. Be sure to come back for the next one, and I'll see you then.